okay? And I'm gonna get my hands in in an S grip. If I, I need to be able to get my at least my thumb over the back of his neck pointed towards me. If you can't, pop it up a little bit more, catch. Okay? So for guys with wider shoulders or, or people who are applying it that have shorter arms like me, okay, you might need to do this more as like an on knee approach. Okay, pop, catch, S grip, okay? As soon as you get the S grip, you drive that elbow down. Now, th there's a key thing we were talking about the other night, guys, where look at how he's really trapping that forearm on the back of James's head there. Yeah. And that's really trapping it. Right. So this keeps him from number one standing up and getting his head out. Plus it allows me to lock him in nice and tight for the roll. Okay? I'm gonna post my foot on this side, right behind the side of his knee. Okay? So it's the sole of my foot. Okay? So I'm gonna roll him in nice and tight for the roll. Okay? So it's the sole of my foot. Okay? If you have to, you can put it flat like that, but I like putting the sole there. Okay? And I just roll onto the hip, roll him over, step over. And then when I'm on my head, squeeze. You come up to a tripod where you're on the top of your head and your two feet. Okay. For the longer length people, you can do the, the, the figure four version. Um, we've got a fighter, Kendrick, who was doing it real easy yesterday. Can I see that one? Can you do it? For me, when I do this, I have to come slightly sideways to get the proper position oh, on Oh, okay. That's, that's okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Okay. So, so for a lot of people, this is the easy way. Okay. For me, it's the S grip. Hop. Same thing. Over. Roll up on the head. Tripod. Squeeze. Okay. Both of them work. I think the S grip part is the easiest one to get because all you have to do is this. Uh -huh. Right? You don't have to have, you know, the, the perfect arm position for it. You can crank the guy over and then just squeeze him in. Um, tripod on the head and the legs, otherwise you won't get it very well. And the other thing you need to remember is this is almost like a hurdler stretch when I'm rolling them over. You know, really you only have to be able to make this S shape with your legs. But don't put this foot like that, okay, or like that, okay, because then I'll end up going backwards and I, I lose all momentum. Can you demonstrate how to do it the proper way so, so it's just to oh, keep it in context? See, I'm still on my toes. There you go. Right? Flat of the foot against the knee. Sit on the hip, push off here as I roll onto my shoulder, get over, tripod on the head, squeeze. Can you grab Eric, who's a, a lankier body? James <laughs> Rippey's a big, thick, studly guy. Not that Eric is, don't get us wrong. Rippey's a man. But see how, he, there you go, and he come right over, tripod up. My back popped. <laughs> <laughs> now he did choke him, he popped, popped his back. Okay. Keep the head down, slide up and under, see how much higher my arm is, and then just pop your arm through. Don't start this way, because they inevitably grab your arm. And now I have no lock. Me. Whatever the heck he wants to from there, okay? Keep the head down, slide up, come across. I should be able to pat him on the back. He knows how he uses his left foot to pop over. So, but but th for you guys, we've done that before, that, that second one before. But the first one where you do the S grip, which is basically more of a, a square grip or gable grip, S grip, uh, Hadaka Jume. Yep. And it's a, that's a nasty one. You really trap that head. It's a bit of a neck crank too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There's Not a just a bit, a lot of a neck crank. <laughs> but also, it's also a choke. It's also yeah. a good strangle. So, okay, guys, let's try that a bit and we'll have fun.